So I started doing plays on the Manchester Fringe scene about three years ago when I first moved up here from London. And um, I did some great pieces and I watched some great pieces along the way. And that kind of inspired me to realise that how possible it is to put on your own work in Manchester. So I spoke to Debbie and said, look, why don't we put a play on because other people are doing it, so why can't we? Uh, I just knew that I needed it to have really strong female characters in it that were well-written, well-rounded, um, and something that wasn't necessarily where we'd be playing a love interest or something stereotypical. And I just wanted it to be something that really said something and it had a very clear message. Debbie then came back to me with The Wasp um, that she'd seen in London um, and she'd loved it. So we sat outside last year. Uh, it was a lovely sunny day, which is unusual for Manchester. And um, we sat with a glass of Prosecco each and read The Wasp. I fell in love with it. I thought it was amazing. I thought, it was everything I needed. The characters were so wonderfully written and so in depth. Um, and they had strong opinions and strong motives for everything that they were doing in the play. Our first part of call really was actually to go to Matthew Zia at the, who was then at the exchange. And we had a nice quick brief meeting with him over coffee. And he sort of pushed us in the, in the direction of just think big. Why would you put something on um, and not really go for it? Get the venue that you want, get the director that you want, try and put on the best thing that you can possibly put on. Um, so that kind of inspired us. He gave us a list of people that he knew that might be great to be part of our team. Um, so we ended up meeting with a few people. We met up with Hannah Ellis, who's become our producer. Um, and she amazingly got us, enabled us to have uh, Arts Council funding. Um, and then we got in touch with a few directors, uh, had a meeting with Ben Power and just kind of knew that he'd be right for the job. Um, so we've had a lot of help and a lot of advice along the way, but I think the thing that we've learned the most from doing this process has been just to be patient about everything and really have a set goal at the end and to do the best that you can and not to do anything half-heartedly. So um, we, this has been a really long process. It's maybe been over a year that we've even been talking about doing this and all of a sudden it's everything sort of clicked into place and we've got the team that we want we've got the venue that we wanted and yeah I can't believe it's actually happening from that first glass of Prosecco set outside a bar um last year to putting it on uh it's been brilliant and we've of course had loads of help from the Coliseum who kindly gave us a week to um do kind of what we needed and what we wanted in the studio space there we had two performances there so thank you chris lawson um and the coliseum that was very useful and what a great space that was to work in and it's really really set us in good stead for the productions at hope mill <laughs>